pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Supervisor Vecchio? Here. Councilman McCarthy? Here. Councilman Warheim? Here. Councilman Creighton? Here. Councilman Malloy? Here. Sitting as a Board of Water Commissioners, number one, assignment, reassignment of Elizabeth Elderkin to Smithtown from the Smithtown Water District to St. James Water District at the same rate of pay, and a reassignment of Lauren Miller from the St. James Water District to the Smithtown Water District at the same rate of pay. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Number two, the award of bid number 11-006 for Country Woods Water Main Installation to Pat Noto as per bid opening February 17th, 2011. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Mr. Wareheim, would you read your correspondence, please? Sure. Correspondence. Number one, special event, Smithtown Chamber of Commerce for Smithtown Festival Day, second reading. Number two is a special event, Neff Cure Foundation, annual carnival, second reading. Three, parade, run, walk, 9-11 responders, remembered park, Inc., 5K walk, second reading. Number four, special event, St. James Chamber of Commerce, St. James Festival, second reading. Number five is parade, run, walk, Kings Park Youth Organization, opening day parade, first reading. Six, parade, run, walk, American Legion, Donald C. Monroe Post. 944 Memorial Day Parade, first reading. Number seven is Parade Run Walk Knights of Columbus Memorial Day Parade, first reading. Eight, Parade Run Walk Smiles and Strides for Stephanie, 5K Walk Run and 1K Fun Run for Children, first reading. Number nine is Parade Run Walk St. James Chamber of Commerce Halloween Costume Parade, first reading. And number 10, Building Department Report, February 2011. The building department report is on uh, file with the town clerk for anyone's perusal. Um, uh, advertise for public hearing. The town board authorized the town clerk to advertise for public hearing to be held at the Senior Citizen Center, 420 Middle Country Road, Smithtown, New York, on April 28, 2011, at 7.01 p.m. for zoning petition 2011-A. Town board's own motion by the town of Smithtown, 99 West Main Street, Smithtown, New York, 11787 for a motion to amend conditions and covenants related to a previously approved zone, change of zone petition 92-02 by PJ Ventures at memorandum of the planning director dated February 22nd, 2011. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. Resolutions number one, the town board to authorize the town clerk to advertise for the following bids to be returned to. Town Hall, 99 West Main Street, Smithtown, New York, at 11 a.m. on the dates indicated. Bid 11-019, coal planer, returnable March 24, 2011. Bid 11-020, compact telescoping material handle, returnable March 24, 2011. Sod, March 24, 2011, returnable. Hot applied texture crosswalks, March 24, 2011, returnable. And asphalt. Picked up and delivered to job sites March 28, 2011, returnable. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. I have number two, the town board to award the following bids and to authorize the purchase of the associated goods and services as per two A, B, C, D, and E, electrical maintenance, <coughs> compressed natural gas buses, bailing wire, print shirts, and replacement of floating docks in Kings Park Bluff. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. The town board to approve the following as per 3A through Q of the printed agenda. Proposal by the firm of RC Formation Limited to provide New York State DEC quarterly and annual landfill reports. Proposal by L.K. McLean, PC, to provide LFG reporting services. Town clerk to issue special permits for graded Smithtown Chamber of Commerce, Town Clerk to issue a special permit to St. James Chamber of Commerce, Town Clerk to issue a special event permit to Nephew Foundation, Rescission of Resolution 2011-176, to name G, to name and dedicate the newly construct constructed Nest Concert 
Community Park at the former New York State Armory site, the Charles P. Tonin Nesconset Community Park. H, leave of absence. I, town attorney, appropriate official to enter in stipulation of settlement. J, Matt Lankwood, safety officer and other employees to attend the conference. K, to authorize supervisor to file an application for funds 50% matching grant with the New York State for the Coastal and Estisher Land Conservation Program. L, town clerk to issue a parade run walk permit to 9-11 responders. M, highway department to rent a D61E dozer. Amend resolution 2010-1103 to permit an increase of the limit of hourly works by Janice Hansen Amato. Q, I'm sorry, O, pin 11-024 South Shore Service Maintenance from Atlantic Irrigation for the Paul J. Fitzpatrick Country Club. P, adopt amendment chapter 322 floor area ratio. Q, site plan exemption standards prepared by the planning director dated February 8, 2011. As per the printed agenda, A through Q. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Vice. Yes. I have number four, the town board has to do study and deliberation of subject record to issue a secret negative declaration of termination of non-significance in the following matters for reasons stated in the memorandum and the dates indication. That's 4A through D. Application for site plan approval, Kensington Garden. Town board's own motion to enter into a lease agreement with SciTech. Application for site plan approval by Nature's Resource. And town board's own motion to amend Smithtown Code 322, site plan fees and exemptions. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. I have number five, the town board to authorize the control to execute the following transfers as per 5A through I of the printed agenda. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becky? Yes. I have number six, the town board to authorize the supervisor to execute the following in a form approved by the town attorney 6A, B, and C, agreement with the town of Smithtown and the American Medical Alert Corporation, extensions and license agreement, and lease agreement with SciTech Wireless. Mr. Malloy, yeah. you got to take a vote. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareham? Yes. Councilman McCoy? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. Town Board to authorize the acceptance of the following donation by synthetic turf maintenance in the sum of uh, $3,000. <coughs> Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareham? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor? Yes. yes. Number eight, the town board to authorize the release of the following cash in lieu of performance bonds in the amount of $79,315, Capital One Bank Check, 1317 Planning Department, Receipt 037284, posted by the Country Woods at St. James, LLC. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wareheim? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Supervisor Becker? Yes. Um, uh, Mr. Malloy, A is withdrawn on that. Agenda item. So we'll just read B, C, Okay. A. Number nine, the town board to approve the following personnel matters, starting with B, part-time appointment of Tracy Lemp to the position of homemaker in the senior citizens department at the rate of $13.50 per hour. Promotion of Charles Barrett to the position of town park maintenance director in the department of parks, buildings, and grounds at the rate of pay of 66 points. 60 cents per hour pursuant to section 527 of the New York State Civil Service Law, part-time appointment of John Castino as a position of drug and alcohol counselor one in the Horizons Department, acceptance of volunteer services of Renda Tobin as a volunteer for the nutrition program at the Senior Citizens Department, part-time appointment of Eileen Hun to the position of food service worker in the Senior Citizens Department. Councilman Malloy? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Wilhelm? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. <coughs> Supervisor Becky? Yeah. Which, which is not on your printed agenda. The town board will be signing off on four site plans uh, Nature's Resource, Hot Park Industrial Park, T Mobile at 3 Kennedy Drive in the Hot Park Industrial Park, Pitt Partners in the Hot Park Industrial Park, Kensington Gardens Phasing Plan, St. James. All of these plans are on file with the um, planning department if anyone wishes to peruse them. Uh, they're there for your viewing. Um, speakers, Mr. Tim Walls. Good afternoon, Supervisor Becchio and the town board people. 
Uh, I just want to congratulate on Mr. Becchio being uh, a nominee for the St. James um, St. Patrick's Day Parade on this Saturday for the Grand Marshal. And um, I just want to say thank you to you guys to try to help out get New York State, State DOT uh, to try to enforce Main Street on crossing and that. Uh, I talked to Mr. Uh, Michael Fitzpatrick a couple of days before the accident of the morning of the February 27th, and I don't know if it's a state law or not, but they should put signs up <coughs> state law that you guys stop to, if someone's in the crosswalk in that. Yeah, the light is green. Well, I think the state DOT needs to do that down here. You know, I don't know what happened on the accident or anything, but um, I hope Irene Peters, I hope she gets a police report, and I hope New York State DOT can do something. I just want to say thank you for all your help and that, um, you know, and uh, I got contacted Mr. Uh, Fitzpatrick a couple of days before the accident, informed him, do something as soon as they can, talk to the state, and, you know, this is what happens now. Someone else is killed on Main Street. You know, it's going to be millions of people going to get hit, come out of the bar, jaywalking, probably jaywalked on a green light or something, don't know what happened, you know, and I'm sorry, I'm very sorry about the family. You know, if that happened to me or to one of my people in my family or, or, or to one of the board members, I'll be deeply sorry for what happened. You know, and I just want to say thank you to all the departments. You guys are doing an excellent job. Supervisor Gwen Jorgensen, planning department, uh, Ted Sanford in the, the department of engineering. Engineering. You know, you know, I just want to say thank you for everything. And um, I, I talked to Mr. Uh, Jorgensen. I got to get a letter to him because my mom had medical problems. And uh, we'll get that to him. Uh, so uh, our street can be accessed if we need an ambulance or something in a quick emergency or during a snowstorm. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone else wants to be heard? I'll move to close the meeting. Second. Supervisor Vecchio? Yes. Councilman McCarthy? Yes. Councilman Warehead? Yes. Councilman Creighton? Yes. Councilman Moore? Yes.